Hello, my dear friends, you are watching your weekly astrology horoscope. And in this upcoming week, we have a couple of interesting events, one of which is the new moon in Aries, a very exciting one, because this is the most energizing sign, the sign of new initiatives and braveness and courage. And a new moon is always about a new beginning, about a new phase, a new cycle. So this new moon comes on Friday, the 1st of April. And this will be a new cycle for us, which will begin. And we can focus on things which are important, things that require fighting for something or being tough and having the courage to do whatever it takes but keep in mind that before friday we are still in the last phase of the current lunar cycle and especially around the last few days wednesday thursday when the transit moon will be actually it's tuesday and wednesday when the transit moon will also be in pisces and it's approaching this very end of the lunar cycle the energy can drop a little bit or more maybe and we may find it difficult to motivate ourselves to work hard or to be very present or to engage with some practical things but what would be nice to do at this point is to finish with some old stuff whatever this might be a project you have started or something that is waiting for you to be finished or anything that you feel like it's time to get it over with so that you can move on so most of the week monday through thursday keep this in mind especially the closer we get to friday the more appropriate it is to focus on finishing completing things not to push yourself to start something new especially if something requires lots of energy and focus and commitment and perhaps sometimes just to give yourself some time and relax uh, that's especially true for Tuesday and Wednesday but more or less Thursday as well as we will see so this is the first important point new moon on Friday so new beginning time to define new goals to define a new direction to start important things after Friday and until Friday try to finish whatever you have on your plate the other interesting event is the conjunction between Venus and Saturn, which is exact on Monday. Interesting combination. Uh, emotionally, it could be sometimes tough because Saturn can bring some kind of limits for Venus. So emotionally, we may feel blocked or it might be more difficult to open up or to trust people or even to relax especially on an emotional level and this can affect especially some kind of group social circles or the social environment overall because the conjunction is in aquarius so this could be something that we need to be aware of however it's also possible that such a combination can be very positive for business negotiations for communicating and kind of like trying to find a reasonable compromise that can be like the most positive manifestation of venus and saturn especially when they are in aquarius the sign of freedom and openness and acceptance so the best way to use the transit if you need to negotiate something to communicate something which is really important it could be with friends with your social circle with authority figures 
that's like very nice. Uh, in personal relationships, be mindful. People can may need more distance or like boundaries, and it's important to respect this. It's interesting that on Monday also the moon is in Aquarius, the sign where Venus and Saturn are as well. So the focus on some social activities, um, communication with others, or finding a new approach can really be a priority uh, on Monday. So uh, Monday is, I would say, much more productive than the next two days, Tuesday and Wednesday. So I would recommend you if you have some important stuff like real work, perhaps it would be better to do it on Monday, especially if this is about um, something that requires from you to be organized and practical. If you need to focus on creative tasks or something which is more like, you know, uh, not that much Saturnian, or in other words, uh, you can be more flexible with those tasks or, yeah, it's really about creativity. Then, of course, Tuesday and Wednesday are also nice. Specifically on Tuesday, we don't have any major aspects, just the moon, which is in Pisces already. And we have a sextile with Uranus. So the energy can drop significantly. Moon in Pisces, also very close to the end of the lunar cycle. So if you have tasks that require lots of concentration, dedication, physical effort, Tuesday is not very appropriate. And overall, Wednesday as well. But Wednesday, I think, is better. And you'll see in a moment why. Uh, but on Tuesday, focus on something creative, something that would be nice, something that you would enjoy. The sextile with Uranus can help you to feel excited, to enjoy the process. Maybe try something different and um, creativity and, and innovation. Those are the things that you can rely on. On Wednesday, we have three minor aspects which are interesting. So the first one is the sun in quintile with Pluto. And this can bring more power and more energy. Even though the moon is in Pisces, so we're still a little bit of floating through space, symbolically. But nevertheless, the sun in a quintile with Pluto can bring some motivation, passion, commitment, um, especially when it comes to work and um, yeah, things that require focus and dedication. The other aspect is between Mercury and Saturn. It will be a minor challenging aspect. So in communication, we need to be mindful. Some things may not work according to our plans or we may just face with some kind of difficulties when it comes to planning, when it comes to communication and connection. So there might be some delays, for example, or maybe even misunderstandings. And the, the last aspect on Wednesday is between Venus and Neptune, harmonious aspect so creative work something that triggers your emotions something that you would enjoy that would be wonderful also in terms of personal relationships this aspect is also uh, bringing a very tender gentle energy so great time for a date for doing something with the person you love it could be a friend, it could be your partner, or maybe even your kids. But yeah, Wednesday can be especially positive for personal relationships. And when it comes to business planning or like social communication, it might be trickier. But personal is great. And the moon, as I already said a couple of times, is in Pisces on Wednesday. So be mindful with this possible lack of focus or desire maybe to just let it go. Sometimes maybe even just give up and be 
with whatever is. Sometimes we need those times like a time off. So you need to see how it resonates with you. On Thursday, first of all, we have the last day of the cycle, of the lunar cycle. So this is like energetically the lowest point, which means that what we do may not work so well. Or uh, that's especially related to things that require visible results. Of course, if you're doing something that is generally, you know, focused on the internal, that's not relevant. And that's why it's recommended to do something which is focused on you, on your internal experiences, on uh, self-care or some sort of preparation or completion. Um, but brand new things like they don't really work. So be mindful about this. Uh, what's interesting here is that even though we have this lower point energetically on Thursday, on the other side, the moon will be in Aries. So this may bring some kind of impulse to also do something, to maybe take some initiatives. You need to see how it feels for you uh, because it's possible that the Aries moon may bring the desire to do something, but because it's the last day of the lunar cycle, it may not work so well. This is one possibility. And of course, there is a possibility that this moon in Aries will just bring you more energy than usually we have on a last day of the lunar cycle. That is also an option. But you can kind of like finish some old tasks especially if they are related to planning or communicating with people because the moon will join mercury in aries on thursday so if you want to learn something if you need to have a conversation with someone that may work pretty well friday comes with this new moon in aries so New moon in Aries is always very powerful and energizing and bringing us the motivation to create something new. So I'm pretty excited about this um, because Aries as being the first sign of the zodiac is really like symbolically the seed. After that, each of the signs that follow they're building up on this, like the resource and energy, then learning to connect then so on with the other signs. But Aries is like really the seed, the first seed. So this new moon is especially positive for new beginnings, for something that maybe you would like to focus on during the next one year. After all, the astrology year starts with the ingression of the sun in Aries. So it has just started and this is the first new moon that we have. So think about in a kind of like larger perspective, what would you like to experience or achieve for the next one year? And around the new moon, specifically on Friday, you can set the intention, define the goals and after that, Saturday, Sunday, next week, you can start to take some actions. So pretty interesting and very significant shift in the energy of the week. Uh, there are two aspects which will support the new moon. One is a harmonious one. The other one is a disharmonious one. The harmonious one is between Mercury and Pluto. There will be a quintile which is uh, bringing more focus to the mind, allowing us to concentrate, to be passionate about some ideas or plans. And overall, it can allow us to go deeper into something, to explore, to, um, to be more confident when it comes to our ideas. So it's an empowering uh, aspect, an aspect which brings concentration. The other aspect, involves mercury as well but also venus so there will be a minor challenging aspect and this can create some kind of disharmony between the mind and the heart 
So we need to be mindful about this. We need to find the balance. And um, also when it comes to the particular day, so Friday, be careful when you communicate with people who are close to you and um, loved ones, family, and so on. Saturday. On Saturday, we have a conjunction between Mercury and the Sun. Exact conjunction. So, such a dynamic, powerful energy. This is already in the new lunar cycle, right after the new moon in Aries. And we have this exact conjunction between Sun and Mercury. The mind can be especially active, productive, maybe impatient, maybe restless, maybe also overwhelmed. But what is important here is actual steps. Aries as a sign needs real activity. So not just the mind imagining the vision and so on, but like, okay, you have the idea, do something about it. Probably you won't be able to kind of like materialize your whole idea within one day, especially if it's a big one. Do something small, even if it's the tiniest bit. That will give the energy like direction and it will flow there. So on Saturday, it's especially important to take even the smallest step in the direction where you want to go, perhaps related to the new moon goals that you will have. And also the sun and Mercury, both of them will have a positive aspect with Uranus. So think creatively. Think about new things, open up for experimenting or innovation or new approaches, more dynamic, maybe also more impatience, like desire. Everything should happen really fast, but it's nice. It's like a motivation. And um, this idea to rush through things, make things happen as fast as possible, that could be especially uh, relevant for the first half of the day when the moon is still in Aries. Around 1 p.m., the moon is transitioning to Taurus. So there could be a little bit of balance and like energy settling down and like things becoming calmer. Um, you may think about some practical things that you can do during the second half of the day. Or also pay attention to your own comfort. Like what would make you feel nice and comfortable. And on Sunday, the moon is in Taurus as well, but will make a conjunction with Uranus. So overall, it's important to keep the focus on comfort, stability, patience, practical things. And also maybe expect something interesting, something new to happen because of the conjunction with Uranus. But it's time to uh, focus on becoming more grounded. So on Friday and Saturday, we have lots of fiery Aries energy. And you may feel like, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that, um, which is great. And I encourage you to do something. But then... There is a point in which if we stay in this state for too long, the energy will be kind of like it can get wasted or too intense. We may not be able to contain it. So this ingression of the moon in Taurus comes at the right time so that we can focus on, okay, I have the direction now. Let me slow down for a moment connect with myself, with my body, with the earth, with reality, and patiently and pragmatically see which is the next step. That's how I see the upcoming week. So as you can see, lots of shifts. The dynamic is very like this, but it's interesting, and I hope it will be a nice and productive one. So. That's from, from me for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, if you want to sign up for email updates, you can go to my website, marstars.net, and sign up for Marstars newsletter. 
you can follow the links in the description or just go to marstars.net and scroll down to the bottom. If you have any questions, you are always welcome to contact me through Telegram, through email, and I will see you next week.